better by its next name, the Spruce Goose. Designed by famed aviator Howard Hughes, this massive aircraft was built during World War II. Even more impressively, it was built almost completely from wood. Powered by eight engines, this beast was designed to carry two tanks of around 75 tons of cargo. Sure, it never entered operation service, but because it did fly, it still holds the record for largest wingspan at 320 feet, and so we think it deserves a mention. Convair B-36 Peacemaker. During the Cold War, it was all about building aircraft that were bigger, faster, and had the longest range possible. Enter the B-36. Built during the time when everyone was using jet power, this bomber was nearly obsolete when it started service in 1949. Nonetheless, it was the only bomber which had the range to strike the USSR with a nuclear bomb, so it stayed on. The B-36 was truly massive in every way, and with a 230-foot wingspan, remains the largest mass-produced piston-engine aircraft ever built. It was so so large, it had a 13-man crew and was powered by six piston and four jet engines. Antonov An-22 even in a world dominated by jet power, the An-22 shows that propeller-driven aircraft can leave a mark. You see, the Antonov An-22 isn't just powered by propeller technology. It is the largest turboprop-powered aircraft ever. 68 of these large cargo planes have been built, and they currently see service in Russia and the Ukraine. So, how big are they? Well, the An-22 has a wingspan of 211 feet and can carry four armored vehicles or 290 passengers. For added measure, even its engines look impressive with dual contra rotating propellers which are necessary to lift all that weight into the air. Boeing B-52 What's incredible about this American Cold War bomber is that the crews that service and fly them today weren't even born when the last one rolled off the assembly line in 1962. It's not the heaviest bomber in the American arsenal, but the B-52's 159-foot length and 185-foot wingspan make it dimensionally the largest bomber in U.S. service. The fact is also that it has eight jet engines adds to the impressive overall size. Incredibly, planners hope to keep these bombers flying until 2040. This means the B-52s will have had a longer lifespan than the men who flew it over the last several decades. Lockheed C-5 Galaxy if you've ever been to an air show and had a chance to see one of these close up, then you know just how massive they are. The Lockheed C-5 Galaxy is a transport plane used by the United States military. It has a wingspan of 222 feet and it's powered by four massive engines. Yet the true size of the plane is revealed when the interior gets opened up. The cavernous interior is one foot longer than the distance covered by the Wright Brothers' first flight. This allows it to carry up to six Apache attack helicopters or five Bradley fighting vehicles at one time. Antonov An-124. Anything you can do, I can do better. That's pretty much the Russian response to the U.S. C-5 Galaxy, which came in the form of the Antonov An-124. Introduced 16 years after the C-5, this Russian military plane was the world's heaviest production cargo aircraft for 30 years, until that title was taken by an entry that we'll get to soon. The An-124 has a 240-foot wingspan and can carry an amazing 150 tons of cargo. It can even hold 350 people in its massive cargo. Hold. Ironically, when NATO countries required more heavy lifting capacity during operations in Iraq and Afghanistan, they lined up to lease some of these massive aircraft. Tupolev 2 160. It's not just the United States that builds big bombers. In the 1980s, the Soviet Union unveiled the Tu-160 bomber. Nicknamed Blackjack, this jet-powered bomber has a 189-foot wingspan and takeoff weight of 300 tons, making it the heaviest combat aircraft in the world. This plane can carry around 40 tons of bombs and cruise missiles and fly at an impressive speed of Mach 2. There are only around 16 in service, but rumor has it that more might be built soon. Boeing 747-8 in the 1970s, the Boeing 747 was introduced and ushered in the era of the jumbo jet. A partial double-decker, the 747 became the face of transatlantic travel, capable of carrying several hundred passengers at a time. Nearly 50 years on, and new versions of this plane continue to fly and set records. The newest version from Boeing is the 747-8, and it is the longest passenger aircraft in the world. In fact, at 250 feet in length, this passenger liner is more than 90 feet longer than the massive B-52 bomber. For cargo, a freighter version is heavier and can carry more weight than the impressive An-124, making it the heaviest production cargo plane in the world. Airbus A380 
There are some planes that just don't look like they should be able to fly. Take the Airbus A380 for example. This passenger liner takes the term jumbo jet to a whole new level. With a 261 foot wingspan and full double decker layout, the A380 looks like a 747 that has had way too much to eat. It can easily carry over 500 passengers and empty it weighs in over 300 tons. That's big. No wonder people everywhere are going crazy photoshopping new variations of the plane with three, four, or even more decks added on top of the two already in place. It kind of makes you wonder if that's even possible. Antonov N-225 when Russia had a space shuttle program, they needed a plane to carry the spacecraft around. The answer? Take an AN-124, enlarge it, add a new tail, and slap on two more engines. What you are left with is the AN-225, and it is big. At 275 feet long and with a 290 foot wingspan, this beast is the biggest currently around. Just to give you an idea of how much this plane can carry, in 2001, the AN-225 flew with four main battle tanks, weighing 280 tons each in its hold. Although only one is currently in service, rumors and reports suggest that the production of the AN-225 may once again start up making the largest production cargo plane ever. Well, those are some pretty big planes, yet there still never seems to be enough armrests for everyone to use.